I'm leaving Hawaii. I've formally started this video yet so hello you're probably very confused by the title maybe even a little worried but do not fret do not worry I'll explain what's going on in a little bit but all you need to know right now is that today's a Friday I leave on a Wednesday and there's a lot to do before I leave which of course you will be coming along because you and me we're in this together you know the drill there's a lot today to do there's a lot to do today there's a lot today to do Yesterday, I got my eyelashes lifted. I don't know if you can tell. I got them permed, which basically means that they will stay lifted and curly for three to four weeks, assuming I take care of them well and coming from the girl who rips off her acrylics. And when I would get lash extensions back in the old day, I would literally pick them off until they were just sitting on my bed sheets all gone. <laughs> I'm revealing a lot about myself, but you guys already knew that. I'm a serial acrylic ripper offer, but I haven't ripped them off in months, okay? So maybe people can change. I think I'm changing. There's a ton on the to-do list today. Let's get it going. Cheers. I'm getting ready because I have gotten invited to do a shopping spree at Aritzia. These things do not happen every day. I am stoked. I am stoked. I am obsessed with Aritzia. It's no secret. I also have a few things I wanna pick up at Sephora for like smaller travel size items. So we're gonna do that. It is a shopping day. I'm very excited. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do my makeup first. actually not supposed to put on mascara because I'm supposed to wait 24 hours for like the glue or like the perm to fully dry. <laughs> Done with the makeup. I want to choose a cute outfit that's definitely comfortable because I'm going to be walking around a lot. I don't know if I want to go full Aritzia because I'm going there and I have this weird thing. Let me know if anyone else is like this. If I am wearing a lot of the brand of the store I want to go in, say it's Hollister and you're wearing Hollister jeans and Hollister top like I will not step foot in there because I feel embarrassed For no reason a lot of my favorite clothes are from Aritzia that I want to wear So I'm just gonna have to step over that hurdle, but I don't know why I feel like that I, I don't know I'm gonna pick an outfit. I think I'm gonna wear this. I want to keep it simple So we've got a bodysuit and a pair of jeans. I wear just this Amazing Shall I go for a mom purse? I feel like for some reason this just screams 30 year old. I love it. Okay, I'm about to head out in the door in a little bit, but I wanted to talk about Native. They are the sponsors of this video. I am obsessed. So excited to be working with them. I have been obsessed with their deodorants ever since my favorite podcasters, my favorite YouTubers were talking about them. And I was like, huh, I need to try this. If everyone's talking about it, I might like it too. Here we are. I've been using them for a few years now and they are my favorite. I'm actually so excited because they came out with these plastic free deodorants, which I think is so cool. If there's little things that you can do in your life to reduce your single use plastic, and making little changes like this is really easy. Today I'm gonna use the lavender and rose scent. Oh, it's kind of like a push pop. You push it out and the product comes out. Native's plastic-free deodorants use the same ingredients as the regular deodorants do, but obviously with much more sustainable packaging. I've tried a lot of different deodorants in my day trying to find the right one for me, and I always would hate when it's like sticky, it wasn't drying, but these just feel so nice. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything, but it does the job. The scents are so good. The other scents I have are lilac and white tea and coconut and vanilla. There's so many different scents and there's a wide range to choose from. I think my favorite is the coconut and vanilla just because it smells really fresh and delicious. Ah, take a whiff of that, literally amazing. These deodorants are aluminum free, they're paraben free, and they're also vegan and cruelty free, which is really important to me. And I love that these are made with familiar and simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. It's three plastic free deodorants and you guys can use my code AVAJULES for 25% off, which is so exciting. If you're looking for a new deodorant and you're trying to find your fave, look no further. I will have the link in the description for you guys to check out. All right, it's time to go shopping. 
I feel like I clearly have a little explaining to do. I'm leaving Hawaii on a trip to New York. Ah! <laughs> Did I scare you with that title? You know what? <sighs> What can I say? I've gone like eight years without clickbaiting and that's not even clickbaiting because I am leaving and I'm leaving for quite a bit. I am leaving to New York for a few weeks, which I am so excited about. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I've been going since I was literally eight months old. It honestly feels like a second home and half of my family lives there. My best friend, which is my sister lives there. And the cherry on top is that Connor, who's never gone to New York, he's never been to New York City, is coming with. We're going to New York together, which is crazy that he's gonna meet my other half of my family. I can't believe I get to share it with Connor and he's gonna experience New York and New York City. He is gonna be a deer in the headlights. He has no idea what's coming. New York will is just the opposite of here <laughs> in all the best ways. I. Uh, that being said, there's a lot to do to prepare because we are gonna be there for a little bit Not crazy long, but like two and a half weeks Which to me is a very long trip and we're gonna be moving around between a few different places the day you guys watch this I'm leaving today or I left yesterday one of the two Anyway, you should definitely follow my Instagram if you want to keep up in real time with what we're doing There's gonna be lots of fun content on there and sometimes things I post on Instagram I don't share on YouTube and vice versa. So it's Aritzia time Oh my gosh, I love that hat on you. Let me see. Oh, you smell good. Oh, she a city girl. <laughs> I actually... Okay, wait. I told is you this she... a vibe? Get in here. Say hi to the people. Hello, Hello. guys. Connor's one of the few people in this world who doesn't share my love for Aritzia, obviously, but he understands it. I understand it. No, it's because every time I see you, are like, oh, guess what I bought? Guess what I bought? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I am so excited. It is before store hours, so we have the entire store to ourselves. This is peak excitement. I think this is the highlight of my year. I am going to try on this stuff now. Yay! We just got done at Aritzia. Sam and Sarah, they are so sweet. Thank you to them. Connor made a purchase at Aritzia too. So he's officially joined the club. Anyway, I will do a haul later, but we're gonna go to Sephora. Secured the goods. Lunch break. <laughs> What a successful trip. That was so fun. Like I said, we've got quite the to-do list and it's not stopping there. We have one more thing to do today and that is get my nails done. They're definitely very grown out. I don't think you can really tell, which is why I like getting this style of French tip. Let's go get our nails done. I am feeling like a brand new woman. I am feeling unstoppable. We've got fresh nails. I got the same thing, but with a brown tip. I thought it was a little more fall. I got the same brown on my toes. You know we don't show toes. Not for free on this channel, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll just have to picture it. It's really cute. I love the color. She did a great job. Unfortunately for me, I was in kind of a rush when I got there, so I just found the nearest parking and then parked under there. Not realizing I was parking under a giant tree filled with birds. My car got shat on everywhere. There is bird everywhere. <laughs> so last stop of the day, I'm gonna get my car washed because just the idea of it, like marinating on my car overnight makes me itchy. I don't know why, but we're gonna go get a car wash. Wait, this is fun. Why do I do this more often? You guys know what time it is. I picked up this faux leather shacket. I love it so much. The color is beautiful. It's like a beigey cream. And I feel like it's a nice switch up from the classic black. I picked up these trouser pants, which are so flattering on. They have a wide leg. Clearly loved it so much. We had to get it in black. Black is a classic. You guys, this color screams fall. It is this beautiful auburny orange color. Sweater tank top type thing. I love this taupe color. I love the 
v-neck clearly loved it so much i got it in this like sea foam color which is also really beautiful you guys i think this is my favorite thing that i got i feel like a chic businesswoman on her way to close a deal that is my aritzia haul i will see you tomorrow we still have lots to do lots to prepare for packing is beginning i am trying to style outfits let me show you the current state of my bed wow what a sight this literally makes me itchy because it's just so much shit that i threw onto my bed and these are all pieces that i want to style and see how i can wear them it looks really bad right now but i kind of have it slightly organized i kind of have a good idea of what i will and won't wear so i'm gonna start putting some pieces together and trying to see what kind of fits that i can make i know so many people who pack the night before they leave i have had friends who have packed their suitcases hours before they leave for the airport. I could not do that. It's just funny. Let me know what kind of person you are. Are you pre-planning all this like I am a few days before? Or are you just an absolute beast and you can do it right before you leave for the airport? If so, respect. <laughs> I'm kind of already packing my carry-on. These are the suitcases that I use. They're from Away. It's in this forest green color. I want to tie something on it because I feel like a lot of people have dark suitcases and it's hard to like pick it off the carousel if you don't have an obvious suitcase. So I'm going to tie this around it because I don't wear this one anymore. So it's a cute use. And also add a sticker. This is part of my merch design. It's very cute. It's a little surfer girl. Cute. That was really anticlimactic. This is definitely going to get so dirty. Okay. My carry-on is the same thing in that dark green color. I feel like I can't really pack this until the day before I leave. Ooh, but I definitely wanna pack some books. I wanna bring two books. I would say three, but realistically, I just don't think I'm gonna read three. I think I'd actually poop my pants if I could read Colleen Hoover in Central Park. That is literally a dream. So we're gonna bring this one. I've been dying to read this. Maybe this one? This has been on my TBR list for a long time. I think I'll bring this. I'm dying to go to some bookstores in the city. That's definitely on my to-do list. So I'll probably get some books there. So I'm just gonna bring these two. If I'm being honest, I do not want to try on clothes. I am hot. And the last thing I want to do is like try on jeans and jackets. No, but I'm going to do it because I know future me will thank me for like pre-styling some outfits. I went shopping this morning. I needed some travel essentials. Let's begin. Uh, let's start off with these pants because I honestly don't know how I would style these. And if I don't find a cute way to style them, I'm not gonna bring them. These are like leather pants, except they have an elastic band waist, which is kind of nice. It's not super... I plan on eating lots of pasta, lots of pizza, so I don't want anything that I'm gonna have to suck in for. My legs are sweaty. Those are hard to get up. <gasps> Cute, fabulous. Let us see. Let me go get my jackets. Would leather on leather be too much? <gasps> uh, maybe this tan jacket? Hmm. No. A trench coat? No. Hello? Is there no handhold? What? Um, uh, why, why can I not find the hole for my hand? I feel like a black puffer would look cool. I don't have it here. It's at my grandma's house. She lives in New York, so I'm gonna hope that these match. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my legs are so sweaty, you guys. Amazing! I want to try styling this blazer first. I've never worn a blazer, so I don't really know. I feel like with jeans could be very cute, keep it a little more casual. Oh my gosh. Okay, these jeans, I'm absolutely bringing. They are so cute. I... Oh my gosh. Okay, I actually have a question that if you live in cold weather, please answer because I wouldn't know. When you are putting on like a turtleneck or a mock neck and the neck is really tight, but you already have makeup on, how do you avoid it from getting on the neck without like stretching the crap out of it? Please let me know. I could really use your expertise. I love this. Okay, let's see what the blazer looks like on. Am I on to something? I am on to something with like sneakers, like a little shoulder bag. What bag am I bringing? I need to figure that out. I am really tired of bringing stuff that I won't use or don't use. I feel like usually I take both bags since one is light and one is dark. I'm gonna bring two bags. I'm gonna bring a tote bag and I'm gonna bring a purse. I feel like black will just go with everything. How else could I wear this blazer? Do people wear blazers with skirts? Is that weird? Every time I go to New York in the fall, there's like one day where it's a little warmer. And so I think a skirt moment could be fun. Here she is. She's a brown little school skirt. <gasps> is this a look? I'm gonna bring the blazer. This jacket. <gasps> Does this match? 
I think these are the same color. I can't tell. What a cute monochromatic moment. I feel like I would wear something light underneath or black. We'll see. Okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I don't think this is it together, but I love this with like a pair of jeans or something. Holy shit, I just got foundation everywhere. I've really been liking sweater vests. I just think they're so like granny-y in the best way. I'm obsessed. I feel like I don't even look like myself with all of my limbs covered, but that is so fun. I got this last year. I haven't had a chance to wear it and I'm dying to style this. I love the color. I really am not packing too much color for this trip. I feel like I'm mostly sticking to neutrals and black. I literally keep a tight stain stick with me at all times. <gasps> Are you kidding me? <gasps> Even this is like kind of cute. Oh my goodness. The big question is which leather jacket am I bringing? Because I got the cream one yesterday. Black is very New York. Mom? Mom? Do you think I should bring the white leather or the black leather to New York? Honestly, I think keep the white leather here and take, you can hang out and go to Milana, take photo shoots and take the black. Okay. I'm feeling good. I'm really happy with the outfits that we got figured out. The rest of the stuff is so neutral and easy to style with each other. I just wanted to make sure that those pieces I knew how to make an outfit out of. Um, the only problem is my room, which currently looks like this. It's a little worrisome. Um, I hate this. <laughs> I think it's time to start putting some of these things into the suitcase. That about wraps up this video. By the time you guys see this, I will be on a plane, gone. It's crazy, I'm so happy to be going to New York. If you wanna keep up with me in real time, make sure you follow me on Instagram, just because obviously the videos are a little bit delayed, but if you wanna keep up, make sure you follow me on there. It's gonna be a good time. The outfit picks. I'm manifesting that they're gonna be fire, so hold me accountable. If they're not, call me out nicely thanks for hanging out with me thank you for helping me thank you for the advice on the fashion thank you for being here thank you for watching